Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Brooke, and today we are kicking off a weekend in the life. So this weekend is Easter weekend. Right now it is Saturday about 10 a.m. and I'm getting ready to head to the grocery store to get brunch supplies because we're making brunch today because it's a rainy day outside. So we're pretty much gonna be home majority of the day unless it clears up, which it says it will, but I feel like the weather has not been, like the weather app has not been very accurate recently. So TBD, we'll see. And then I also need to get supplies for tomorrow because um, one of my family members is hosting Easter about an hour away from us and we're all supposed to bring side dishes. So I had to figure out what I'm gonna get. I think I might just bring like a snack. Like I think I may, might make like Capri skewers and then maybe bring like a case of beer and like two bottles of wine or something. So that's probably what we're gonna do. Already finished my morning coffee, working on some kombucha, health aid as always. Today it is the passion fruit, oh no. It's the passion fruit tangerine one. This is the one that was like super tart yesterday and I was struggling with. Okay, well it looks like I'm uh, suffering through that. Anywho, right now I am wearing, obviously, I mean, we are out here defining fashion. We are in a Nike white pullover sweatshirt. I am wearing black Nike, whoop, black Nike soccer shorts, tall socks, and black Nike slides. You know, I might even, venture as far as to say someone might mistake me as athletic. Oh, what a concept because I am not. But anywho, comfortable, you know, so I can lunge in the grocery store in case, you know, someone's like reaching for the last thing of basil. I can like throw myself in there. Probably not gonna do that. I'm thinking of like, what is it? Christmas with the, Christmas with the Cranks? Cranks first Christmas? The, cr the crank one, the crank one, remember? And she's like going for the ham and she's like, it's like that whole dramatic thing and they're like, her and the other lady are like running and then they're like diving for like the ham and the whole like wrestling thing. I feel like I'm like ready to go with that. Clearly that coffee just like hit, it hit. It was like caffeine straight to the vein because I'm feeling, I don't know, <laughs> like what was that? I don't know, I'm like feeling very uh, high energy. Anywho, okay, I need to head to the grocery store get that taken care of and we'll go from there. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching and sticking around for this mega intro. What are we at? Almost three minutes, excellent. Okay, thank you guys again for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe below. Give this video a big thumbs up and uh, what is happening here? Okay, anyway, let's get started. So I just got here, I'm about to go in, um, but I thought I would mention, okay, do your guys' grocery bags match? Like I have two different Trader Joe's ones, I have, I don't even know what this is from. Doesn't even say. That's from Home Goods. That's from Disneyland. That's from Hawaii. That's from Aerie. Like, I have one back there that I'm using for something else, a Rayleigh's one. I mean, I just, I don't know what's going on. Usually I'll buy like four or five that match, and I just don't know where they go. So, I, like, basically only one of whatever I buy ends up somehow surviving. I don't like, well, I mean, they don't break. They just disappear. I don't know where they go. So now I just have a mosh posh of like all of these random, and they're, none of them are the same size, guys. None of these are like the same size or even shape. Like some of them have super like wide bases. Some of them are like super skinny and like, I, yeah, there is like no continuity here. But do your guys' grocery bags look like that or do you guys like have your life together and have them all like matching? It's kind of giving me like, I don't know. It's kind of starting to bother me now that I'm talking about it. I kind of want to go in there and like buy a bunch. But I have these. I should, okay, that's a waste of money. I'm getting out of control. Anyway, we're heading in. Let's go. Wait, so they only have one thing of the Rayleigh's basil, so I wanted to get a second one, so I got this Gotham Greens one. I got the pre-sliced mozzarella and then these to make the little mozzarella skewers. I need a backup salt, because we are almost out. And then I need to find cute little skewers to skewer it with, because I have like toothpicks, but like I want like the cute ones, you know? Okay, so they only have regular toothpicks and the ones with the flags on them that you put like in burgers. So maybe I'll just use my current ones that I have. The secret to 
a perfect caprice is not using actual balsamic vinegar, but using like a reduction glaze. So if it says glaze or reduction, that's the really thick one that actually like stays on it. It doesn't just drip off the sides like the olive oil. And then so far got some hash brown patties because we're gonna make eggs benedict and we like to use that as the base. I forgot I need it. We're doing caprice benedict, which is why I need the slices. So I went and got heirloom tomatoes. I forgot that I'm out of teriyaki sauce, so I got that. And then I picked up some everything but the bagel seasoning or the Rayleigh's version of it because my other one just expired so I had to throw it away so now we have that and we're going to continue on our way you guys it's the last one come oh, to the mama All my work stuff's in my trunk, so I have to put all of like my groceries in the back seat. But I don't know what was going on in there to, to <laughs> I don't know what was going on in there today because it seemed like everything was like low stock, out of stock. I was like grabbing the last one and it was like super strange. It's been like that the past few times that I've come and it's super strange. I'm wondering if it's because of like everything going on like in Russia, if there's like more like shipping issues. Like I know all the shipping issues before weren't really resolved fully, but it seems like everything's been a lot worse. It's like reminding me of like the beginning of COVID once again, <sighs> kind of stressful. Oh, also very exciting. So one of my friends texted me this morning and she told me that this morning she got a letter that she got into grad school. Ah, so excited. So um, I ordered her this beautiful flower arrangement and I did it for same day delivery. So it's gonna be there today before six o'clock. So I'm like trying to do the whole like track your order thing where it shows you like where it is. Oh, it's so bright out, you can't really see it. But um, yeah, basically it just shows you like when your order's gonna be like delivered, but it seems like they don't really update it until like it's out for delivery and it could be delivered anytime before 6 p.m. And someone has to be there to get the flowers. I put in the notes to leave it there, but it even says on there that they have to hand it to someone or they have to like, I don't know, I'm assuming maybe they have to like sign for the order or something as like proof that it was delivered. But I texted her and I was like, hey girl, you're gonna be home all day, right? Cause it's like a rainy day. And she was like, oh, actually, um, they just recently bought a new house, so they're like remodeling and stuff. She's like, we're replacing some things today, so we're gonna be in and out, um, heading to like Home Depot and like back and forth between Home Depot and home. And I was like, mm, okay, well, well, um, so I wish I could tell her at least a time frame to be home, but I don't know. So I'm really proud of myself. I've decided that I'm just always going to keep a returns bag in my car. So, oh my gosh, the lighting change is wild. Um, so basically, whenever I have things I need to return, I'm going to add them to this bag that I have in my car. So whenever I'm out and about, and I'm like passing one of like those stores or like an area where one of those stores are that I need to make a return, I can just go ahead and do it. How right now, it'll be like, oh my gosh, I wish like, I realized that my day would lead me to this area because I have something I have to return over here and I'm never in the area always happens to me but no more so I have that green dress that I showed you guys in the last vlog um, that I need to return the one from Nordstrom Rack and then I have this white little um, like knitted like crop tank top that I got from Amazon that's super cute but like the armholes are way too small like I don't know what's going on with that I don't know how tiny someone's like arm and shoulder are that that would ever possibly fit don't know what's going on with that but anywho add this to my bag. So I asked Darren to help me unload the groceries from my car and he was like, yeah, 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 let me just rinse off from my back and I'll be right out. It has been like 15 minutes, he's still in there and I just heard him start a work call. 
I'm glad I did not wait for him. That man gets distracted so easily, it is crazy. Okay, so I got new flowers, as you guys saw. So we're just gonna try to get this in here. Life hack. So I don't know about you guys, but I have like broken several kitchen scissors trying to cut the stems off of flowers. So instead of using scissors, I have started to use like serrated like butter knives. And let me tell you, it's really been like, like it's made all the difference basically. It has saved me. So I'm gonna just finish washing this out and then I will show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, we're ready to get started. Got the flower vase. Um, so also I've been looking for like a large, beautiful flower vase to put on that table. Oh, hunties. Yeah, I'll let you outside to play in a minute. Um, yeah, and I cannot find one online anywhere. I feel like I have exhausted all possible options and I'm not really sure where to go from here. Cause I, I'm tired of like just using plain flower vases. Like I want something attractive and it's also pointless to always be, oh no, this is not going according to plan. Um, but to always be buying new flower vases, like I just want to invest in a really nice one that I can just replace flowers in. This guy's way too short. So that's like all I want. Okay, so we need about that length. So we're gonna take this guy. So we're gonna like rest it on the edge. And I think about there, we good. Let's turn it around, get those guys. Voila. How easy was that? Okay, let's make sure we like the length, the height. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I like that. But yeah, so if you guys know anywhere um, to buy like cute water vases, water, flower vases, um, let me know. Cause yeah, I really want like a big one. I want it to be like large, but I want it to be like wide and short. Cause I kind of like those like shorter, wider flower arrangements instead of these like skinny tall ones. You know what I'm talking about? Like where it's almost like, you know, but yeah, I'm struggling. Cause apparently, I don't know if that's just like not trendy or that's just like, maybe they just always, maybe they are trending and they're always selling out. Maybe that's the issue. I don't know, but one way or another, or for one reason or another, I cannot find any. So. Yeah, you guys have any tips or suggestions of where to look, let me know in the comments. It's noon and it's finally time for brunch. So I have started with the hash brown patties, which like I mentioned at Rayleigh's is what we use in, as a substitute for the muffins. And then I'm going to be obviously making the hollandaise sauce, going to be making bacon, and then we're gonna do it caprice. So just tomato slice, mozzarella, and some basil. It's gonna be amazing. But um, Darren is bringing up some champagne from our wine cellar right now, and we're gonna have a true festive, I was gonna say Sunday brunch, uh, Easter weekend brunch. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. I will bring you guys back once we have um, finished cooking and all that jazz to show you what it looks like because I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful. So we're just finishing things up here. So we have the tomato, cheese, egg, hash brown, we've got some bacon, and I'm finishing up the sauce right now. So I always use the Norse sauce packet and it's bomb diggity, but sometimes it can be a bit bland. So my secret ingredient is doing like two tablespoons of heavy cream in the sauce. So just adding that in, it makes it so much creamier, so much creamier and like more flavorful. It seriously is a game changer. Looks and smells amazing. Weekend brunch is served. What is up party people? What is popping? What is locking? And most importantly, what is dropping. So we 
Have, well, the day has taken a complete turn. It has ended up being an absolutely beautiful sunny day. So we are out there sun tanning, hence the lavender bikini. Anywho, we are here to decide on what wine to open. So we already had some champagne. So we're, I'm thinking kind of like Chardonnay vibe, something that's like a good like summer drinker. Let's see here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have Frank Family Chardonnay. This one is a 2020. So I know I put out one video that was kind of like wine education and kind of like wine 101 and it didn't do as well as I thought it would do, so I decided not to do others just yet, but I do have notes in my phone, like I have it ready to go for like two more videos. So if you guys are into like wine, wine education, how to like pair things, like the history of wine and all of that type of stuff, like let me know, because I would love to make more of those videos. Like literally, I have all the work done. I'm just kind of like waiting for like, the demand for it because it seems like people don't really want it. So if you guys do want it, let me know because I'm like super ready to make them. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go outside so we can drink. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna cool this. Yeah, I'm gonna cool this for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna drink it. But anywho, yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. So we just got started with dinner and so we have the fried shrimp, we have rice going. Darren is starting the curry sauce. Hey guys, good morning, happy Easter, happy Sunday. So it's about 10.30 right now and showered, got ready, all of that jazz, cleaned up all of the mess from cooking dinner last night because we literally cleaned absolutely nothing. We were just too lazy and wanting to watch our show, which we've been watching The Mentalist. And I've never heard of it before, but there seems to be a lot of seasons out. It's on Netflix and it's really good. It's also really interesting because it takes place in Sacramento, which is like really cool because I feel like a lot of most shows don't. Like I, th I think there's like a jailbird season or episode or something that takes place in Sacramento. Other than that, I feel like I haven't seen anything. Um, but yeah, it like takes place in Sacramento. It's super interesting though, because where it shows like the tower bridge, which is like the gold bridge, um, a lot of like, there'll be like restaurants and these things around it, or like it, they're on like the top of a skyscraper and you can see that in the background. And I'm like, mm, that doesn't exist. There aren't restaurants like that with a view like that because it would have to be like on top of like the CalPERS building, which I don't think there's a restaurant up there because otherwise people would be posting all the time. Like we have a few new like rooftop um, restaurants that just opened this past year and it was like groundbreaking because we finally have like a rooftop like situation. So a lot of it, I'm like watching and I'm like, I mean, that'd be really cool, but like this is a green screen because that doesn't exist. Like that's not there. And like how they'll have like certain parts of the Capitol and stuff and I'm like, that's not there. We don't have fencing like that. There's not gates like that. But anywho, so I'm like kind of nitpicking that. But overall, it's really cool and just like the concept and it's, yeah, it's a really fun show. So right now, um, what I'm doing, I have kind of my station set up here. So I think I had mentioned to you guys yesterday, let me, so I think I mentioned to you guys yesterday that I'm doing Capri skewers. So I've got my tomatoes starting to cut them up. I have like these little snacking cheeses I got from Costco. So I opened up a bunch of them and then I have basil here. And then of course my little toothpicks and such. So I'm gonna make a bunch of those skewers and then I'm just going to bring it over in, well it's over there, but like a large Tupperware and then just borrow a serving platter because we're not going to be staying all that long. I think I mentioned yesterday, um, our family member that's hosting it lives like an hour away from us and Typically we don't leave our dogs alone for more than four to five hours. Like five hours is kind of like our cutoff. Um, they're almost three years old so they can probably hold their bladder for longer, but we've just never had them do it. So I don't know that they can just because they've never had to. They've never like built up that like <laughs> endurance if you will. So yeah, we're just gonna go for a couple hours um, and then unfortunately we have to come back. But it also kind of works out because um, Darren has to leave for an early morning meeting tomorrow at like 6.30 a.m. I need to drive down to Bakersfield tomorrow at, um, I need to be there at 11, which means I probably need to leave about 6.45 because it's almost a five hour drive. So, um, so actually probably like 6.30. Anyway, so we have big days tomorrow. So today it's, we're gonna be kind of taking it easy. We'll probably be home by about four or five o'clock tonight and just, 
have like a leisurely evening, need, need to like figure out, you know, how tomorrow's gonna work. But anywho, so right now, making that and I'm gonna get back to it. I'll check in with you guys in a bit. So I just finished making all of my skewers. Look at them, all organized, all cute. Although as soon as we get in the car, I already know they're gonna be like all over town. Um, and then this is the olive oil I'm bringing. It's from Seca Hills. This is like a winery in Brooks, um, but they also have a satellite tasting room in the old sugar mill, which is how we found out about it. And we actually belong to their wine club. It's excellent and their oils are also really good. Same with their balsamic vinegars. Um, and then here is what I bought yesterday, the balsamic glaze. So that way it's gonna stay on there, but I'm gonna wait till we get there. Um, then I'll either put it on when we get there. Maybe I'll just let people do it themselves. Not sure yet. Um, I perfect, well, I basically, okay. So I used all of the tomatoes and I used exactly the um, totality of the snacking cheese bag, but then I needed like four or five more tomatoes. So used all of that. I used all of the basil that was good because some of it just wasn't as fresh as I would like, but we are ready to rock and roll and just in time to like clean up. So basically we need to get going in 20 minutes. So I feel like everything kind of perfectly timed out. I feel like my hair is falling already. What is going on? Oh, well, anywho. So yeah, I have enough time to like clean up and get the show on the road. I'm feeling really good because I was really nervous when I woke up that I wouldn't have time to do everything, but it's all timing out perfectly guys. Awesome, so proud of myself. So yeah, I'm gonna get to cleaning, see you guys in a bit. All right, kitchen is restored. This kitchen has been torn up multiple times this weekend and it's finally back to normal. So we're just getting ready to leave. Um, Darren's taking the dogs out to use the restroom and then he's gonna come, I'm driving. Um, so yeah, about to head over there. All my family's there, excited to see everyone and happy Easter guys. I hope you're having an incredible Easter Sunday if you celebrate, if not, I hope you're just having a great Sunday. Hey guys, just got back from Easter. We spent it with my mom's family. It was absolutely beautiful. We got to see a lot of um, people that we haven't seen in a long time. I saw several of my cousins I haven't seen in like five or six years. Anywho, I was just like so immersed in like all the conversation and catching up with everyone that it just really wasn't an appropriate time to vlog. So I'm sorry that I didn't have any clips for you guys. We didn't do the usual like brunch and all of that like we yeah typically do for Easter. Instead, we did like a whole lunch thing. So we had like ham, we had chicken, pasta salads, potato salads, um, green salads, uh, a whole bunch of other things I can't remember right now, but it was amazing. It was beautiful. What is happening with my hair? I feel like I'm always, oh no. I think I got a cat hair. So they have cats and I decided that I wanted to pet the cats and I'm very allergic to cats. So that was like a poor choice overall. But yeah, just got home. So I'll see you guys inside. And I'm now craving more fried shrimp. I know I had curry fr um, fried shrimp like with curry sauce yesterday. However, the craving has expanded or extended on through on through today. So here I am making more. I'm defrosting shrimp in the sink with some like cold water and just getting ready to make more. We don't really have a recipe that we use for the curry sauce. We basically just have a bunch of spices and just add everything until it smells right or tastes right or just smells or tastes good. So it's different every time, which keeps it interesting because it's not like you're eating the same thing every day because each time it's, di or each time because every time it's different, you know? I don't eat it every day, okay? But usually when I do eat it, I'll have it for like two or three days in a row. Because again, I told you, I always eat the same thing. I eat something, I love it. I eat it again and again and again and again and again. And it takes a very long time for me to get sick of something. So usually I just run out of ingredients and I'm too lazy to go buy more. But yeah, that's basically what happens. I mean, look at my breakfast. My breakfast, I've eaten the same thing for months. If you guys are ever making like fried shrimp, the key is cornstarch. So cornstarch, for one reason or another, just works so much better than coating with flour. This is the brand that I use, and it is amazing. So I just 
toss my shrimp in here. So I just finished the curry. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy dinner. All right guys, so as I showed you, I just finished cooking dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy it while it's hot. Thank you again so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe below. It gives you a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you again for watching. Happy Easter, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading.